Hello, this is Jim Barr, roving reporter with Travel Alberta, where we caught up in Whistler with Jen Heil, two-time Olympic medalist, to talk a little bit about her experiences here in Vancouver, Whistler during these games, as well as her Alberta heritage. Obviously, I'm a proud Albertan, and as I said, I mean, to have access to top coaches, top facilities, I mean, it makes a huge difference as an athlete. Um, but I just feel so lucky. I mean, I feel Albertans behind me every single day. Um, I have had access to the best facilities, to the Rocky Mountains. I grew up skiing in Marmot Basin. I mean, I can't imagine a better place to grow up skiing. I've traveled all around the world. I've been to countless ski resorts. Uh, what sticks out the most in Marmot is obviously the awesome terrain, but beyond that, just the raw beauty. Um, it's so unspoiled, it's so stunning, and I'd say the people are always so welcoming. Um, I love to be there in the summer and the winter months uh, to spend time there with my friends and family. Just the raw beauty is so incredible. I learned how to ski at Marmot Basin. Uh, that's where I first did my uh, snow plow, which eventually transferred into moguls and hitting the airs, but that's where it all started. And to me, I mean, there's no better feeling than being back there now uh, with my friends and family, skiing the slopes. I just love it, and I can't wait to be back there soon. You know, for me, I've been really fortunate in my life. I've received a lot of opportunities, but, you know, at the same time, I've also worked hard to create them. And I think that basically at the base of it, you know, to follow your dreams, to have that courage to go after them, and to try and create the opportunities for yourself. Jen was like an 11 or a 12 year old girl when she started coming up to Fortress every weekend. And they drive eight hours every Friday for Spruce Grove, come to Fortress, and they train all weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and at four o'clock they'd pull out. And it was just amazing to see how all these athletes, you know, were groomed on, on hills in Alberta and also here in North Cyprus and other areas. I mean, we can compete with the best in the world. I certainly wouldn't be here as an Olympian and Olympic medalist without Alberta and without all the people within, within the borders. Um, I mean, from the start of you know, Spruce Grove holding local fundraisers to get me on my international uh, competitions and training. Uh, my parents who drove eight hours to the mountains every weekend from Edmonton. And obviously to have access to the facilities and the programs that I grew up in playing sports, not just skiing, but you know, swimming, volleyball, school sports. Um, and yeah, to have access to the, the amazing, incredible Rockies.